I know I need to trim my fingernails. Just showing how this one burns. Burns well, tastes good. I'll make What's up YouTube? I'm gonna be reviewing these hemp cigarettes. And in this video, I got these from a website. I think it's called Buy CBD Cigarettes or something like that. Uh, I, I'm gonna put the link to it in the video description. And I'm going to be reviewing four types. Let me grab the other one over here. Got these ones. Hemp sticks. Vance. And I don't know what brand makes these. This is just a raw cone uh, filled like a joint. And then this one, which is in a metal case. Fancy. As you can see, I only have one of each of these left. Uh, I I was uh, saving one of each so I could do the review video for these, uh, and I had another one of these. The other this one is just called Blend, and the other one was called Trump and Wife or something like that. I thought that was funny. I already smoked that one, and uh, for anyone unfamiliar with hemp cigarettes, they're uh, they come in like this which are look like regular cigarettes, or they come in pre-roll style. And you can buy CBD buds also. And in this video, uh, I'm doing this review, and then in the next review I do of CBD bud and hemp cigarettes, I'm gonna make sure I get it from ganja.com the next time because I can pay with XVG on that website. I just got these ones from this website to try a variety of pre-roll ones, but Next time, I'm going to support the Verge vendor and go with the, the Ganja brand uh, and uh, see what theirs is like. And uh, But anyway, on a lot of the reviews of hemp cigarettes, people are like, oh, this one doesn't have much CBD in it. doesn't do much for me. But the truth about it is, is for it to be classified as hemp, uh, it has to be 0 0.3 THC or less. And really what you're feeling the effects of from a hemp cigarette is the THC. It's a lot milder than uh, 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 straight up cannabis. But uh, the weakest mids, like brickweed, Mexican brickweed, uh, comes in at like 1% THC, 1% to 5%. So uh, in reality, if you smoked a few of these, uh, you get quite a good buzz. And smoking one... Uh, it's not impairing at all, and it's actually somewhat similar to a cigarette in a way, and uh, I shouldn't be smoking at all. I got HIV AIDS, as people know. I was diagnosed last fall. I'm recovering from that. Oh, and I forgot one other brand, Wild Hemp. Uh, so actually, we got five brands I'm going to be reviewing here. Wild Hemp, Hemp Sticks, Vance, this one, and that one. But to be honest... Uh, the hemp smoke, cannabis smoke, seems to be a little bit harsher on the throat, but not as harsh on the lungs. When I smoke a cigarette, it feels like it's killing me. It feels like it's coating my lungs. And uh, it's like, I'm sure there's carcinogens in each, but the there's well-studied uh, stuff for hemp, uh, I mean, CBD and THC. And, uh, but honestly, people talk about, oh, uh, this one, I saw a review of this brand and somebody was like, oh, these ones, they extract all the all the CBD first. That's why they don't do as much or whatever. And uh, these weren't bad, uh, but I'm gonna, this is Pineapple Blaze. I'm gonna review all these individually. And uh, for me, if you watch my AIDS vlog videos, uh, this is perfect for me. First off, uh, not trying to get too, too stoned, although, uh, if you chain smoke enough of these, you get a decent buzz, and they're legal in all 50 states, which is cool. But uh, before my diagnosis, in the two years before that, like when I was younger, I was a daily smoker, regular cannabis, like lots of lots of blunts and dabs and all that sort of thing. And uh, when my health started going down before I knew that I had AIDS, uh, which ended up going into AIDS dementia, I started getting adverse effects, uh, which is not usual for me. I usually have really good, normal, pleasant effects from cannabis. And then the previous two years prior to my diagnosis, 
is I started uh, not having quite as normal reaction, and that turned out that was because of AIDS dementia. It was a, a long story, but I'm easing back into it, and these hemp cigarettes seem to be the perfect thing, CBD buds. Uh, but what I was talking about when I was saying somebody was reviewing these, first off, there's definitely did not extract the CBD first. You have to use solvents to extract CBD or THC. You'd be able to taste the solvents if they did that to any of them. And uh, the effects of any of these hemp cigarettes that you feel are really from the THC and not from the T uh, CBD. Uh, and from what I've read, about 50% of CBD products do test higher than they're supposed to on THC, which uh, they're, they're pretty lax about it. Uh, I haven't heard about any companies getting in any trouble for that. And it's, it's pretty difficult to make it exactly 0.3% uh, or less. And it's not really a big deal if it's 0 0.4, 0 0.5, but uh, makes very little difference. And like, you know, there's strains out there of actual cannabis that are like 30%. So a hundred times more THC than would be in something like this. So this is not, uh, this is not something to get a uh, stupid dumb high off of. And this would do nothing to anybody that has a significant cannabis tolerance. But for people that aren't looking for uh, a stronger cannabis or looking to ease into it, or just looking for some relaxation stuff and not really looking to get into cannabis. Hemp cigarettes are great, and it's also great if you're weaning off of nicotine. The combination of a little bit of CBD and a little bit of THC is actually gives a very nice buzz comparable to a nicotine buzz, actually. So you can ease your way off of smoking cigarettes, and then you can quit these as well if you don't want to smoke anything. But honestly, uh, when my body isn't feeling well uh, because of my health issues, these make me feel better. And I know it's not good to smoke much. I don't, I haven't smoked any of these in like two days, but so I'm trying to take care of my lungs and take care of my body. But to be honest, the, uh, the effects it, it, uh, between the, uh, the symptoms, the AIDS symptoms and the side effects of the medications, uh, this provides some good relief. Uh, so I don't think it's a bad thing. Uh, so I'm try, not trying to encourage smoking, but I'm going to give an honest review of each of these brands. And uh, I just wanted to show all of these because I've been meaning to review these. And as you see, there's one left in each of these boxes. And that's because I've been saving them uh, to do a review on them. So I'm going to... Uh, smoke one of these right now i might do the big boy and uh and i'll review them individually and i might just make it into one video here uh but this is just a little overview on hemp cigarettes and like i said there's people that are criticizing this brand specifically which has very nice packaging uh and they are saying oh they but it's not the cbd i have cbd tincture cbd 100 percent like 1200 milligrams CBD tincture. And I take that when I'm going to sleep and stuff. But to be honest, for sleep and other stuff, it doesn't seem like CBD has that much of an effect. CBD has a lot of great health benefits, but it is uh, in the brain, it's like an antipsychotic basically. And it's not gonna get you high, not gonna give you a buzz. It's the CBD, I mean, it's the THC that does that, not the CBD. Uh, so when people reviewing these type of hemp cigarettes are like, oh, this one or that one doesn't have much CBD in it, honestly, I don't believe them that they're able to feel how much CBD is in it and what they're actually feeling is the trace amounts of THC in these cigarettes. And they are legal in all 50 states uh, that I know of. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, and uh, yeah. But uh, I'm going to review each one of these and rank these on a scale of uh, best tasting. Uh, so far, I can say this one is probably my favorite. Uh, and honestly, I forget. Uh, and I'm going to take notes of which ones. Uh, this is a really cool metal box. Uh, and 
one of these ones didn't taste so good, but some of them have the good taste that you associate with uh, a good cannabis. Some of them taste more like mids, but it is uh, a great alternative to cannabis and a great alternative to tobacco. And uh, it technically is just weak cannabis, strong in the sense of CBD, but weak in that. Uh... But anyway, I got off <laughs> on the pool table. There's all these little flakes. Not the first time that's happened to this little table. But anyway, I need to clean that up. I'm going to smoke one of these and I'll review these individually. And again, the link is in the video description to buy any of these. But that's just a brief overview of uh, hemp cigarettes. And then I'm going to review each of these brands individually. And then later on, I'm going to order some with XVG uh, from ganja.com. But that's not where I got these ones from. These are just the different brands that I was sampling. Uh, and, uh, yep. But it's some good stuff, though. If uh, It's uh, definitely... Definitely don't get the, the uh, like, I, I haven't smoked cigarettes since my diagnosis. And well before the diagnosis, I was having bronchitis and stuff. And I'm not planning on smoking cigarettes ever again. I uh, will use nicotine in vape form, which, by the way, doesn't harm my lungs. I hate all the anti-vape propaganda for uh, nicotine vapes. Nicotine vapes like this, like, I've smoked cigarettes for many years and I could feel the effects that it had on my lungs. I've smoked weed for many years, did not have significant effects on my lungs like the weed, uh, like the uh, nicotine cigarettes do. And uh, the hemp cigarettes don't have, it's like a thicker smoke with uh, tobacco cigarettes. Although I think it would be really cool. What you can't find is any cigar. There are cigars that have hemp leaf but I think a tobacco leaf cigar with CBD bud in it would be great. And then also spliff version that is tobacco and hemp mixed. I think that would be awesome. A lot of the hemp cigarettes are like tobacco free, nicotine free. But honestly, I think people want that mix of tobacco in there. Uh, but that's probably not good for me right now. I shouldn't be smoking tobacco at all right now for my health issues. But just an overview on hemp cigarettes and going to give each of these brands a review and again link in the video description of where to buy these and later on i'm going to be trying the verge partner brand i feel a little bit guilty for uh not using the verge partner brand for this one but the reason is because i had already tried vance this brand because i had them at the smoke shop locally in uh Colorado and uh not Colorado in uh in Ohio uh, in Ohio I was able to buy these at the local smoke shop uh so I found a website selling the same ones because I really like these these have a nice uh I get a nice buzz from them feels makes my body feel better and I also it has a good flavor it has more of a fresh uh cannabis type of flavor rather than uh some of these other brands uh all of them don't like none of them taste as good as some like really good hydro bud uh to be honest with you but some of them do taste like some pretty decent outdoor uh cannabis in terms of the flavor and how it smokes and that sort of thing and the ones that are shaped like cigarettes they uh some of them the the ash won't flake off as easily and normally as a regular cigarette does but typically the it burns pretty at uh, pretty well and at a similar rate and i just want to show you one other thing uh and the vance ones they have a normal filter on them like that and as you can see oh it smells good uh and it has more like a uh, rolling paper style paper I really like this style the best. I'd prefer not to look like I'm smoking a regular cigarette. I quit smoking regular cigarettes. I don't want to look like I'm smoking regular cigarettes. But uh, one of my first YouTube channels, I was actually, it was a smoking cigarette channel. I can't even get into that channel anymore. It shows up with my name. But this is the Hemp Sticks one. And a lot of them have this in there. And that's because, as cannabis smokers know, uh, 
weed and hemp tends to get resed up so it could clog filters but for whatever reason i haven't had any issue with the filter getting clogged on this one and uh these other brands uh similar thing where did i uh they got a they got a holes in the filter this was the hemp trance one and you can see the terpenes in here are getting through oh that smells good it doesn't to be honest it smells like mids but i i can't lie I actually there's a special place in my heart for mids when i was in high school I'd be out buying mids by the ounce and rolling up a bunch this one also smells like mids the wild hemp and these have more like a star shaped one in the middle but considering it's legal in all 50 states and for my uh, preference at the time being until my uh, my brain health has recovered a lot since last year uh, so I'm able to handle more THC I, and as y'all know I'm watching stoner coin uh, VBS uh, so uh, yeah I definitely like to be able to get back into cannabis uh, I've been working a lot uh, so to be honest, I'm not trying to be super dumb stoned all the time, uh, but I do still enjoy it. And it's also it seems to be therapeutic to a degree. So, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is really good for right now for where I'm at in terms of health and, uh, but never, never, uh, before I launched Stoner Coin, especially after experiencing the health issue I had last year where I, I wasn't handling THC so well. Somebody says they're not, uh, they, they get anxiety or don't react well to weed. That's just a, it's a person to person thing. And to be honest for them, something that is high CBD and low THC, that might work out well, but don't pressure people who are saying that their body for whatever reason isn't uh because there are some people that don't react well to it and that was me last year and uh but it seems like my body is becoming more normal as my i regain my health uh and i'm gonna go with the vance brand on this one and this one doesn't smell like mids this smells like uh some decent looking uh some decent if you can see let me try to get it in the light in the right spot. But you can look, it's green, not brown. And it smells green, not gr not brown. These other ones smell more like mids. This one smells fresher, uh, like some good herb. So, uh, but anyway, that's just a little bit of overview. Uh, hemp cigarettes are great. Uh, and I think it's awesome that they're legal in all 50 states. Uh, even if you can't get a med card, uh, which I qualify for a med card in almost any state right now. Uh, but these are perfect for me right now. And uh, I'd like to get back into regular cannabis. I'll probably do it more in the evenings unless I'm not working and I'm retired off of XVG and have stoner coin launch. Then I might be getting blazing up all day long. Uh, but until then... It's more of a nightcap thing for me. I got to be, uh, I, I got to take care of my body, not trying to smoke much. I think some edibles might be good for me, but then I'm also trying to stay sharp and uh, uh, not be crazy stoned all the time. I got business to do, work to do, and I already have uh, a lot of fatigue due to AIDS. And so uh, this is good to help me get my rest and soothes my body uh, from just this small amount of THC and good amount of CBD in these. So these are great for me right now. But I look forward to being healthy enough and having a tolerance enough to be able to smoke normally again in the future. But uh, this is my overview of hemp cigarettes and I've already been talking for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna do reviews for each of these brands in separate videos and i just wanted to do this video before i smoke the last of these because i've been saving these to do review videos and uh i want to smoke one right now and i uh 
I might get a little footage of how this burns and I'll do this in the video and I'll show that in the video for the Vance review. And you can see right here, I'll just show it. Get my face out of there so you can see it better maybe if the camera will focus. I'm using the front side camera so it's not might not focus very well. Let's see if I But anyway, gonna enjoy this one. I'm gonna review this one. And uh yep, hemp cigarettes. I approve of them. And uh one day, I look forward to you being able to buy uh, regular cannabis cigarettes legally for recreational purposes through the internet. And I hope uh, that the Stoner Coin platform that I'll be launching in 2021 will help facilitate that process as well as uh, delivery services where it is legal to do so at this time. But anyway, peace out. I'm going to enjoy this one. Have a wonderful day. And, uh, yeah.